You may remember we recently spoke to lead designer of Saints Row the Third, Scott Phillips. Well, as well as talking to him about his upcoming game, we also talked to him about the newly announced Grand Theft Auto V. The magic. You see it in the movies. So, it's been a week since the announcement of GTA V. What do you make of it, Scott? Do you expect them to take a leaf from your book? Uh, I have no idea what they're gonna do. I, I mean, they're gonna do whatever they choose to do, and you know, they're they, they get they announce, and you know, everyone starts talking about it. Uh, there's a lot of speculation. I have no idea. I haven't really uh, read too much of it. What I have read seems to indicate that uh, fans want uh, something actually more like Saints Row the Third. Which I think for us is great, you know, because we have we have Saints Row the Third. We're already uh, we're going to be out in November uh, 18th. So I think people will see, you know, with Saints Row the Third that we have a game that that I think people want that they may not always realize they want, but this is the sort of game, the fun, over the top, you know, tongue in cheek, not too serious, sort of just play the game and have fun. That that's our whole goal. Uh, I can't say what, what GTA 5 is going to do, uh, we'll find out at some point and uh, I, I do think it's kind of odd that they're announcing in such a busy time frame, I, I think it's, you know, Call of Duty and Battlefield and, uh, and all these other games out in October, November, uh, so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Do you expect them to take a leaf from your book? Uh, we'll see. I would be, I would be surprised, honestly, if they if they massively change direction to, you know, redirect towards what Saints Row the Third is, uh, but you never know. I mean, I think there's a, definitely a huge interest in Saints Row the Third, and I think uh, we've built that from the past two games that we've built, and we've refined the ideas more and more. And Saints Row the Third is really the culmination of a lot of work uh, in defining the tone and you know what do players want out of this game, and I, I think we've really hit it. Scott, while you're here. Why is there no multiplayer? Multiplayer, it was actually a very easy decision. It, it was it was a decision that that you know we had thought about a lot, uh, but I I think there's just so many enormous multiplayer games that uh, you know you've got your Call of Duty, your uh, uh, Halos, you got your Gears of War. You know, trying to break into that as a secondary focus with our game is it was just a bad idea. Like diverting your resources to something that is not a primary part of your game uh, is not something we can do. We have a huge open world to build and a huge amount of content to fill that. Uh, and we need to be putting our, our time and effort to make that as good as possible. And that was our whole focus, was make the core experience of the single player and the co-op, the campaign, just make it as good as possible. And multiplayer, doing multiplayer would not have allowed us to do that, to reach the quality level that we've reached with Saints Row the Third. Huh, I see. Could Saints Row's multiplayer return? Ah, I don't see why not. Uh, if if it's somehow decided that you know we're going to compete with uh, <laughs> the Call of Duties of the world in, in multiplayer, I, we could. But uh, I, I just don't think that's what Saints Row is about. I mean, you know, maybe if, if THQ wants to make a Saints Row MMO or something, that's that's their choice. Uh, I think that sort of thing would be fun. I think there's a lot of there's some interest in it. Uh, but other games that have gone down that route haven't haven't succeeded. So I I would think that we would stick to what we're doing well and what we know how to do, which is uh, those uh, single player co-op experiences. Saints Row MMO. Hmm. Wowzers. Well, thanks again, and make sure you make it home safe. Uh, Saints Row the Third is out on November 18th on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. Well, cheers for the info, Scott, and uh, bust off that way. Yeah. Tom, I've done my gig. Is this subscribe button? You, they need to press it, right? So they can tap into all the future videos. And in HD. I don't see why they bother.